right, what's up you guys? So I wanted to give you guys a little tidbit of information because you know what? PA school is expensive and can be extremely expensive. I think on average PA programs are well above $100,000 uh, and they're becoming more and more expensive as more and more students apply and you know new technologies come out. Um, and so to kind of combat all of that, I wanted to compile a list for you guys. So I have a list of about nine programs that I've researched thus far that I think are like amongst the cheapest PA programs, okay? Least expensive PA programs. And just because they're among the least expensive doesn't mean that you lose out on the quality of education, okay? So uh, if you want a budget-friendly PA program, this video is for you. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. And so as I said, I have compiled a list of budget-friendly PA programs for you guys. Now I'm gonna run through this list pretty quickly and I'm also gonna run through it in like a sequential manner in terms of like the most, the most, like the highest cheapest to the lowest cheapest. Like basically I'm gonna leave the cheapest of the cheapest uh, <laughs> for last, okay? Um, so let's get started with this, all right? So as far as the first one on my list, it is gonna be Mississippi State University. Now Mississippi State University, this is all of these things are broken down for residents versus non-residents. And obviously there are criteria that you have to meet to actually be, be considered a resident versus a non-resident. And so those are things that you're gonna have to look at. But if you already live in some of these states, or close to these programs, then you're you're doing well. Uh, hopefully you have been living there for at least two years because I know that's typically what it was for when I was going to school. I didn't get the resident, um, <laughs> the resident tuition, uh, but that was one of the criteria that we have to meet. So if you are in these states, look into that. But even if you plan on staying in a state that you're currently living in, you should look at if there's any PA programs in, in that state or close to that state that may give you like a resident or like a close neighbor discount, okay? But Mississippi State, let's get back to them. Their non-residents pay $68,377 versus their residents who pay $43,843. Now I know that it's a $20,000 difference, but $20,000 over two years is a lot of money. You know, that's $10,000 that you don't have to necessarily be concerned about per year. And so if you are in Mississippi, it would be very good for you to look into this program because it is pretty cost effective. And even that $68,000, guys, to be completely honest, is actually pretty inexpensive when you look at it in the grand scheme of things with respect to how much PA schools really cost, okay? Okay, so the next one is the University of Nebraska. So their non-residents actually pay $105,000 $511. I mean, from 68,000 at Mississippi State to 100, oh, sorry, $104,511 in the University of Nebraska, that is crazy high. That's almost a $40,000 jump. And then their residents, on the other hand, only pay $35,055. So do you see what kind of discount you're getting if you get the resident discount? It's actually quite good. And so definitely look into these programs if you're interested in being a PA and you live in these states. The next one is the University of Wisconsin. So they are a little bit different because they have three different prices and I'll break that down for you. So their non-residents pay $71,901. However, Minnesota residents actually get a discount as well and they get to pay $46,427 while residents of Wisconsin only pay $35,252, which again, Get that friendly neighbor discount at the same time if you are a resident of wisconsin you're only paying thirty five thousand dollars for your pa schooling which is bananas because i paid a lot more than that okay so uh very very good options for you guys okay so next we have the university of texas okay so university of texas their residents um 
are significantly less than their non-residents. Non-residents pay $82,457, while residents only pay $35,262. And as you can see, again, there's a trend where the non-residents are paying almost $100,000, $80,000, $90,000, $100,000, uh, versus the residents who are more so in the $30,000 range, which, you know, is a very good incentive because it incentivizes you to stay um, and keep your talents in the state that you are actually living in. So just, you know, just keep that in mind. All right, we're getting down to the wire, you guys. We're almost there. So Wayne State is the next program that I'm going to be talking about. Their non-residents pay $71,874 in tuition, while their residents only pay $33,100. $56, okay, um, $156, which again, $30,000 for PA schooling. That is good. You can easily, easily pay that off, okay, and be out of debt. Um, did I say death? <laughs> be out of debt. There we go. So uh, just keep that in mind, you guys, because um, at the end of the day, if you're coming out and you're making like, you know, 80,000 plus dollars, you know, because some people get lowballed at 80,000. But if you're making $100,000, you can easily pay off that $33,000 keep that in mind. Okay, if you are in the Northeast, uh, specifically in New York, uh, one of the CUNY, the City Universities of New York's um, sites, the York College site to be specific, their non-residents pay $70,035 while their residents only pay $31,515, which is great because, you know, living in New York is expensive anyways. And so if you can live in New York, learn in New York, and get a discount, that is great for you, okay? So check them out, Cooney York College. All right. Now, the last two. So I told you like all of the others were like here in like the $30,000 range. And, um, you know, here's one. Uh, the, the, no, the last three, okay? Here's one that, again, is close to that $30,000 range, um, right there on the cusp. And then we're going to talk about the definitely the last two. So Texas Tech, another Texas school. So if you're in Texas, there are two schools on this list already, okay, that are pretty budget friendly. Um, Texas Tech, their non-residents pay $84,125, while their residents only pay $30,125. That's $15,000 a year. Like, come on, you guys. That is a steal, okay? Some undergraduate programs don't even cost like that little bit of money, you know, in terms of how much you're paying. You might pay more than that going to community college. So $30,125, that is what it costs if you're a resident to go to Texas Tech. Now, which Wichita State, okay, Wichita State University, their non-residents pay $67,281, very good, very respectable, but their residents only pay $27,395, you guys, that is amazing, okay? I'm telling you, if you live in any of these states, check these schools out because being able to pay for your program and not even have to worry about it and, you know, when you're coming out of PA school and you're like, okay, how can I pay off these loans if you were to get a loan? These schools that are so super budget friendly makes it easy. That's one less thing that you're gonna have to worry about down the line. So just keep that in mind. You can definitely pay these programs off within two years if you give yourself two years to do those. But you can pay it off within one year, within a few months, depending on how hard you work and how much you're working for. So. Keep that in mind. All right, so the number one school, the cheapest school, which actually, um, funny enough, was on my list of like the easiest schools to get into. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, but I did that video a couple weeks ago. But the number one school is the University of Iowa. Okay, and so their non-residents pay $83,912, while their residents only pay $21,561. I can't, I cannot. Like, you, I can go to PA school for $10,000 a year? What? I don't even have to take a loan out to do that. Like, that is, that is wild. 
okay Iowa you guys are doing it University of Iowa you are doing it I applaud you um, to help kind of promote and push this out and if you guys didn't know it is PA week so let's happy PA week to everybody um, I hope you guys are celebrating with us but yo University of Iowa like kudos to you $21,561 for your residents that is amazing okay if you guys have not listed these schools out and ran to their websites to check them out like i don't know what y'all doing especially these programs that are like sixty eight thousand dollars because even for the non-resident those programs are pretty inexpensive okay um well under that hundred hundred and twenty thousand dollar mark which is what most programs are starting to run for right now all right, hope you guys like this video. If you have any other questions for me, you already know what to do. Leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Follow me on Instagram and on PA and on Instagram at Get That to University, where we help you not only get into, but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.